Our next topic is job evaluation. Job evaluation. Definition. Studying or analyzing the value, importance and necessity of a particular job. See, job evaluation means the organization has to be evaluated what kind of jobs are there in the organization. They have to be analyzed and each and everything and what is the value, what is the pay structure, these kind of importance they have to be maintained. That is called it as job evaluation. Job evaluation based on two factors. Skilled worker, unskilled worker. Everybody know skilled worker means he has the sufficient training experience. He is called it as skilled worker. Unskilled means sufficient training is not there and experience also not there. That is called it as unskilled worker. The organization have to be divided two types. One is skilled worker, another one is unskilled worker. Job evaluation. See, in the job evaluation, first point, determining the worth of one job to another. See, one job is very simple. Another job has the very tough. So, the organization employer have to be balanced between the one job and the another job. Relative worth of your job. Second point is, Relative worth of your job. What is the worth? And what is don't have the worthable job? They have to be done the justification. Third point is judge the size of one job relate to another. See, one job is going to be completed half day. Another job is going to be completed full day. So, it will take one month, two months. So, the employer have to be Understand what is the worthable job and what is not having the that much of worthable job. So, so, the size of the need of the job they have to be done. Next one is emerging needs of the company. See, while they are recruiting one person, what is the needs are there to the company? They have to be known. Next one is to ensure equal wages are fixed according to the qualification According to the, based on experience, the wages have to be fixed by the employer. Next one is to minimize, minimize, to minimize waste discrimination based on sex, age, caste, region, religion, etc. See, so many organizations are based upon sex, age, caste, religion. See, here they have to be minimized. Now, all are equal in the organization. So, according to the uh, experience, according to the talent, they have to be fixed the wages. Next point is, elements, tasks selected should be easily understood, defined clearly and properly selected. See, while they are recruiting one person, the employer should give a clear instruction, you have to do this kind of particular job. So, then only the employee can easily understand. Without explaining the what kind of job, they can't able to do that type of job. So, they have to be clearly, clearly mention the job in a particular thing. Next, methods of job evaluation. There are two methods of job evaluation. One is non-quantitative method. Another one is quantitative method. See, Non-quantitative means not in numbers. Quantitative means only in numbers. Well, let us discuss. First one is simple ranking method. Simple ranking means they will rank what is the first highest priority, what type of salary we have to give for the highest to lowest. So, in the there are three stages they are divided. First stage, key job. What are the main jobs are there in the organization? Second one is identify. What are the persons we have? Third one is rank all the jobs. See, in the organization, there are so many jobs. Administration job, teaching job, next non-teaching job, scavengers job, next uh, uh, plant job, each and everything is there. So, there you have to be bifurcate. And they have to be ranked according to the situation and salaries also. Next one is paid comparison. Paid comparison means one job has the salary structure is different. Another job is salary structure is different. They have to do the paid comparison method. Next one is 
सिंगल फैक्टर रैंकिंग मेथड से वन जॉब हैज ओनली वन सिंगल फैक्टर दैट फैक्टर यू हैव टू बी अंडरस्टैंड सिंगल मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टास्क टू बी परफॉर्म only one person is going to be capable to perform that task so you have to be pay according to the situation that is called it as non quantitative method next one is quantitative method that is also called it as point method point means numerical value it is going to be already we discussed in this point numerical means in the numbers Aspects such as education, experience to perform the job. Say, for example, if the person has twenty years experience, they have to provide the salary structure. Another thing, some person has only two years experience, so the salary structure is different. According to the education, experience performing the job, you have to pay the salary. Higher educational requirements, higher points. So, if the person has the higher educate higher education you have to give the higher points to them in the numerical so that's the reason it is called it as quantitative method there are three responsibilities know how problem solving accountability see what kind of work we are doing and problem solving means each and everything we have to be problem according to the situation accountability is most most important because every time every minute we have to be accountable what kind of work we did what time we have to spend each and everything every minute every rupee is important that is called it as accountability overall summary reduction in inequalities in salary structure definitely one one worker will come and approach the employer sir why you are paying this much of salary to another worker you have to be maintain the salary discrimination salary variation because 10 years experience have salary structure is this much 5 years this much you have to be clearly mentioned in the chart specialization according to the experience talent the job have to be done helps in selection of employees definitely selecting of employee according to their skill talent ability these kind of factors you are implementing so selection of employee is important harmonious relationship between the employees and manager superiors and the workers should have a good relationship then only the organization is going to be successful standardization salaries should be standardized then only the organization could be healthy and wealthy thank you so much topic ended